SLK Mercedes. Maserati GT Cambio Corsa. Porsche 911. No, no, no. No, no. So many of these top cars given a certain budget videos on YouTube or just websites just in general. Do they just have the most unrealistic, unattainable cars given a certain price range? And if anything, these cars are just either going to be complete junkers. Yes, I mean, you probably can find a Porsche 911, you know, under 20K. But given the condition, it's, it's, it's just not realistic. And no normal everyday person would ever buy, you know, an old, cheap Porsche 911. It just doesn't make sense. Unless you want to spend thousands of dollars on maintenance. No, but for real guys, the under 20K category for cars, for sports cars, is a fantastic budget where there's an excellent range of great cars that can kind of meet anyone's needs. When you go down to like the 10, 15K price range, it gets a bit tricky, you know, the list really shrinks, but at the 20K price range, there's a great selection of cars, again, that can fit many categories of Whatever type of car enthusiast you guys may be. Before I start this video guys, I want to preface is that all the cars I'm going to be selecting is probably going to be around a 7, 8, 9 condition. Whereas, you know, you could probably buy a Porsche 911, you know, used for under 20k, but it's probably going to be like a 4 condition or just mechanically unreliable. This video is more for the everyday car enthusiast that wants a great car that perhaps they can daily drive but yet still have a lot of fun in. and. I feel like my list has a good selection of cars that are either more dedicated enthusiast cars or more like can do everything type of cars. Number one, oh, and there's no specific order here, but number one, we have the Subaru BRZ. Since the BRZ's initial launch in 2013, it has quickly became one of the most popular budget sports car, tutor car in the whole entire world, and for good reason. The BRZ is one of the last of a very much dying breed. A lightweight, rear-wheel drive sports car that has huge tuning potential that also carries a six-speed manual option. The BRZ in 2019 definitely has its fair share of mixed opinions, but, but I can't go over the fact that it's so respectable to have a rear-wheel drive sports car in 2019. And don't get me wrong, the BRZ definitely does have its flaws. Most car enthusiasts sigh when, it realizes, when they realize that it only has 200 horsepower. 151 foot pound of torque, bringing it from 0 to 60 in 7.7 seconds. And especially compared to some other cars on this list, that is very slow. But when you're willing to look past the numbers and experience the raw driving experience that you get with the BRZ, you'll quickly come to realize why this car is so dang popular. In fact, Jeremy Clarkson has been quoted on saying multiple times that the BRZ is one of the best handling sports cars he's ever driven. So. When, you, when you're driving your BRZ next time, keep that in mind. Don't let it mess with your ego though. Number two, we got the Nissan 370Z, or Z for us Canadians out here. The 370Z is a powerful rear wheel drive sports car famous for its VQ roar. Brand new in 2019, these things start at an astounding 31,000 USD. And for us Canadians, I know for a fact they're usually spec'd out around $50,000, which is honestly just crazy. Especially when you consider it has super outdated tech and Nissan's just unwillingness to kind of innovate. I would not recommend purchasing one brand new. However, on the used market, that is a completely different story. <laughs> They have 332 hertz per 270 torque, and it'll bring you to zero to 60 in 4.7 seconds. So don't get me wrong, still a fantastic car. Just, a, just at that brand new point of around $50,000 Canadian. Oh, if you can pick up a used one from like 2010 for around 17K, for example, and considering the tech hasn't changed very much, just buy it used. And the fact that it goes zero to seven in 4.7 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, that is some great value, plus, you can be the annoying guy in your neighborhood with that straight piped VQ car. We all have one of those. At number three, we have the notorious all wheel drive Subaru. Now for around the 15, 20 K price range, you can get a range. So you can get kind of like the stink eye generation double X, or you can dive a bit older and go for like the blob eye slash Hawkeye STI. Now the price on a Double X STI really does vary on where you live. It kind of depends. It depends on the supply and demand. Obviously, the more car enthusiast markets, you know, the prices skyrocket. Whereas some of the bigger, less car enthusiast markets, you can get them for way, way cheaper. But for the sake of this video, I will be talking about a Blah by STI. 
The blow by STI is an absolute monster. has tremendous tuning potential. Of course, it is an absolute blast to drive. It's more raw, compact compared to the modern day STI. It has 300 horsepower, 300 foot pounds of torque, and it goes zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds. And those times will change dramatically with the easy access of a Cobb access port. Keep in mind though, if you do purchase a used WRX, be aware that 99.9% .9 of all WRXs have been beaten with a nail bat. And also be aware of head gasket failure. But there's a reason why the WRX is as popular as it is. It's just an amazing car. And I really do miss my own personal 2004 WRX blah by. I miss it. And you really can't go wrong with the WRX. At number four, we have the MK6 slash MK7, depending on where you live, GTI. GTI has an amazing legacy. They are the main reason why hot hatches exist in 2019. The Mark 6 GTI ran from 2010 until 2014 in North America. And again, depending on where you live, you might be able to afford a Mark 7 in this price range. So for the sake of this video, I'll go with the Mark 6 because it's a bit more safe. It is yet another piece of the GTI's strong history of performance hatches. It has 210 horsepower, 207 foot pounds of torque, and it goes zero to 60 in the high six second range. So one of the slower cars on this list, but Remember, numbers aren't everything. The GTI is just a super well-rounded car that can really fit anybody's needs. It is super fun to drive, very practical with the four doors and the hatch. The GTIs are super fun to drive, and they are very practical with the four doors and a hatch. They can be seen as a bit pricey to maintain depending on the one you get. It really seems like that matters, but they have great gas mileage, good tuning potential, and they can really just do anything. And if the initial power numbers do scare you, just remember, you can get a single tune and it will completely change the dynamics of a car. I just purchased that MK5 GTI, Mark 5 GTI earlier this year, and I've loved every second of it. I, it's currently in stock form. I've driven the stage one and it's a completely different car. So again, don't let the initial numbers scare you. At number five, we have the Ford Focus ST. Focus ST was introduced in 2013 around the same time as the BRZ and sadly it has been discontinued in North American markets. Why? Like the GTI and I guess the Fiesta ST, they are both fantastic hatches that can do a little bit of everything. But unlike the GTI, the Focus ST is, and it's been commonly known, is, is just a bit more boy racer. Um, now don't take that in a bad way, the Focus ST is a great car. You know, it has the Recaro bucket seats, the gauges, the torque steer. They are a quick, fun car to drive with some great tuning potential. And again, if you want the more raw, lightweight experience, the Fiesta ST is also a great option. They have 252 horsepower, 270 foot-pounds of torque, and will get you to 60 in 5.9 seconds. I've always been a fan of the Focus ST, and I'm very sad to see him go. Especially when the new generation gets introduced in the European markets and they look fantastic. Upgraded interior, the exterior looks great too. Very sad to see the hatches go from the North American markets, why? Anyways guys, those are my top cards under the 20K price range, but there's definitely a lot of honorable mentions I could mention. So if you guys feel like I've missed any cars, definitely comment down below. But I do have some more honorable mentions that I will list right now. We'll start with the Mazda Miata, the fantastic rear wheel drive car. You can pick up a kind of a newer generation in the 20K price range. Definitely not a bad bet if you don't want to go the BRZ route. Next, we have the Hyundai Genesis Coupe V6 or two liter turbo. Both great cars. I think they're definitely a bit underrated. I mean, that can be up to your interpretation, but I, I do like them both. Um, the Hyundai Genesis Coupe V6 is definitely good comparable to like a 370Z, but I definitely do feel like 370Z is just a better platform. Uh, Mustang GT, you can pick up a good Mustang GT, the crowd killer. In the 20K price range. Uh, Evo 10, depending on where you live, this may be the MR or a newer generation. At least where I live, a lot of the Evo 10s have just been skyrocketing in price ever since they've been discontinued. So it is a bit hard to find them in that price range, but it's always possible. Uh, IS350. Now again, depending on where you live, you might be able to pick up one for around 20K. I've, I had a buddy who had one. Great car, great luxury sedan. 
um, the more grown up version of, of all of these cars, <laughs> but super fast, uh, great, great interior, great all around car. So if you're wanting something a bit more luxury, an I, a Lexus IS350 is a great option. All right, guys, if you have any suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know down below, or perhaps you just want me to cover a different price range. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later.